as I've noted in the past, is now known as my career in NBA 2K13. Uh, we've done a lot of work in the mode this year. Uh, one of the main focuses was to really you know, enrich the experience across the board, was to really immerse you, you know, not just on the court, but off the court more. So the start of your career is very similar to those who you know, played the mode last year. The first game you play is called the Rookie Showcase, and you're playing with all of the real rookies from the 2012 NBA Draft, and this is your chance to play with and against them to kind of show the scouts and GMs where you belong in the draft. Uh, this year you can go number one uh, in the draft for the first time ever, so if you play well enough, that's something that uh, you guys will be able to achieve. Trying to blend that line between, you know, what's here and what's here. Uh, I think in the years past with press conferences, we did a good job of trying to get you off the court. Uh, we've done a lot on the court, obviously, with teammate grade to kind of differentiate the mode. Uh, this year we really expanded on everything to really, you know, like I said earlier, blur that line uh, of what your personal life is with your professional life. It's gonna be a great year, starting right now, baby. Right now. One feature we added this year that's really cool is called GM Sit Downs. Uh, this is a feature where at any time during the season you can go in and request a meeting with your team GM. Hey man, I, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about ways we can make this team stronger. There's different tones you can take to all these conversations that really set, you know, how your GM thinks of you and how obviously how you think of him. Every conversation that you have has a ramification in the mode. So it's really cool that you are determining course of your career more than ever before with this feature. I, I think it's fair to say I was a little nervous, uh, but I felt pretty good out there, you know? The press conference feature that we introduced a couple years ago, obviously it's been very, very successful with the fans. They love it. They've always asked for more. Uh, we have another 100 press conference questions in the mix this year, 600 different topics that can come up, which is pretty expansive. Uh, one thing we really did to blow that out this year is we kind of took that and brought that into the actual gameplay experience. So you're going to hear, you know, Kevin Harlan and Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr talking about how your life outside of the game extends back onto the court. Take a look at Miracle Man. One way to build camaraderie within a team is some healthy competition. Clark and something near and dear to our heart is he held an NBA 2K13 tournament for a squad. It's really interesting to see how what you do off the court, you know, transcends into the game and really changes the way you're perceived by not just the fans, but also even by the commentary team. No better show in town than the Clippers. Come out and join the excitement. Multi-game packages still available to see Miracle Man, one of the best in the league. Endorsements in 2K13, obviously something people are always asking for more of. Uh, last year, we introduced the concept of commercials. We had the, the Jordan Shoe commercial. We had Where Amazing Happens. Uh, this year, we're back bigger and you know, better than ever, we have a ton more endorsements, we have more commercials, and this year you can actually choose which path you want to go on. You're not just going to be a Jordan athlete this year, you can choose to be a Nike path or a Jordan path, and they both lead to separate endorsements. I think people who enjoy the endorsements in the years past will really enjoy what we've done this year with them. Uh, just by playing the game every day, you're going to earn VC. So VC, our, our virtual currency, is getting uh, you know integrated seamlessly into my career mode this year. Uh, when you're when you're playing online, this is the currency that you can use to purchase attributes for your player. Uh, you can purchase signature skills, which I know the gameplay guys have talked about already. Uh, you can purchase animation upgrades. Uh, and one of the new animation upgrades we have this year, really cool, it's called uh, Signature Pre-Game Rituals. And these are things that you can customize your player with. Whenever you watch an NBA game and you see, you know, LeBron do his chalk toss or any signature kind of a thing that a player does, you know, VC on the rim. Uh, this is stuff that you can purchase and assign to your player. And we didn't just limit it to what NBA players currently do. We went out and shot another 50 animations that we thought would be cool that you guys might want to see to your players. Uh, so this is just another, you know, little tidbit where we really give you full customization and give your character a personality and a persona, if you will. Going back to signature skills, uh, that's something that's really new to this mode this year, to the game as a whole. Uh, and it really lets you define your player and identify those, like, those very specific points where your player sells at. When you purchase these signature skills, they really emphasize your player skills and give you that ability on the court. You can have five equipped at any one given time. They really accentuate your player and really give you a chance to customize yourself beyond what anybody else can do. That was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. So one feature that's uh, new to the mode this year that I'm really, really excited about is our social media feature. Uh, this is a feature where, you know, you have players and you have legends and you have celebrities and you have fans and they're, they're following your career, just, you know, constantly sending you messages in our interface. After a game, you'll get fans talking about your performance, you'll have media talking about your performance, and that even includes some uh, actual NBA writers in real life. So guys like uh, Jay and Donde will be in there, Rick Buecher will be in there, and they'll be commenting on your gameplay and how you've been doing. And you're gonna have like Mike Jordan just reaching out to you and, and telling you what's up. And you'll have Holly D. And you're gonna have Vinny. You're gonna have even Justin Bieber is gonna be. You know what? Even Ronnie 2K is gonna reach out to you guys this year, give you some shoutouts. We really integrated the buzz values from last year into the menu. So this is a great chance for you to jump in there and see what you know your your 
local fan support is like, what your teammate chemistry is like, and what your fan count is. Uh, your fan count is something new this year. The amount of fans you have is strictly based on how well you play in the game, the choices you make in your endorsements, and also the choices you make in your career as far as how you behave in the press conferences, how you treat your teammates, just different things you do to kind of enhance your persona. Coming into NBA 2K13, the biggest area of improvement that I felt uh, my career mode needed was on the AI side. I think we've done a really good job of adding complementary features to the game over the past couple years. Uh, I think the AI has been uh, exceptional in our quick game, but when you start to player lock, players start to act a little weird. Uh, so this year we spent the entire year uh, kind of giving those guys individual AI routines that basically work around what you're doing. If you go and dribble the ball over next to someone, they'll move away from you and try and get open somewhere else. Whereas last year, they would just kind of stand there with their hands out and be like, hey, pass me the ball. And that's just kind of, you know, it's a little ridiculous to be honest. So getting the gameplay right was, you know, honestly, team-wide was a major focus for us this year. And I think it's the one thing above all that people are going to notice when they play the mode this year is just how much more enjoyable and fulfilling the gameplay part of the mode is. So people who play uh, my career mode in the A2K13, you know, it's not just me sitting here telling you, hey, we have this social media feature, hey, we have this other feature. What you're going to feel when you play this game is that everything is seamlessly integrated into one another. It's not just a feature bolted on here, a feature bolted on there. Everything you do is going to affect, you know, these other features. And it's just really seamless in the way the whole mode interacts with each other. It's not just a bunch of independent things that you can go and do that are really cool. Everything has a cause and effect in a mode. And I think that's something I've been working for for a couple of years. But this year, really, you know, we kind of tied the knot, put the bow on it, and it just really seals the deal on the way a career mode should be made.